this is Asma Mushtaq from the double vibes and in this tutorial we will check how to uh, given set of the vectors is actually linearly dependent or independent for that we need to do what we need to write the linear combination equation according to which c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3 plus c4 v4 should be equal to 0 where the constant c1 c2 c3 and c4 are unknown and we are trying to look for the values of these constants if all these constants are equal to 0 then the vectors will be linearly independent fine otherwise linearly dependent if any of the constants comes out to be some non-zero number fine so let's just start uh, solving it so i will write it as c1 and substitute the value of v1 which is equal to 3 0 minus 3 plus c2 and then put the value of v2 which is equal to minus 1 1 and 2 then plus c3 and v3 is 4 2 minus 2 all right then the last vector is v4 whose components are 2 1 and 1 on the right hand side we have to write the zero vector and its entries will be equal to the number of rows in the column vectors fine now the next step is to develop or construct the linear system equation so this becomes 3 times of c1 minus c2 plus 4 times of c 3 plus 2 times of c4 should be equal to 0 similarly 0 times of c1 plus c2 plus 2 c3 then plus c4 should be equal to 0 while the last equation is minus 3 c1 plus 2 c2 minus 2 c3 plus c4 is equal to 0 okay once you are done with writing this system of the linear equations then you can solve it by applying the gross elimination method and for that you need to write this system of equations in the form of the augmented matrix uh, which can be constructed from the minus 3 minus 1 4 and 2 while on the right hand side we will write the b vector which is 0 in this case because this is a homogeneous system find we have 0 then 1 the coefficient of c3 is 2 the coefficient of c4 is 1 and then minus 3 2 minus 2 and 1 and here we will have 0 okay okay so in this matrix we can see that this is the pivot entry and according to the gross elimination we have to convert this matrix into the upper triangular matrix so for that what we need to do we need to make all these entries equal to 0 and this is our first pivot so that's why we need to make this entry equal to 0 and for that i will perform the operation on r3 so the change will be made in r3 which is denoted by this tilted sign and according to this we will do that r3 plus r1 fine so let's just do it now it becomes 3 minus 1 4 2 and here you will have 0 0 1 2 1 0 and when you will perform the operation of r3 plus r1 so minus 3 plus 3 will give you 0 2 minus 1 is 1 4 minus 2 is my, uh, plus 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and here you will have 0 okay then in the second row we can see that this is our pivot entry and we have to make all the entries below it equal to 0 so we need to make the change again in r3 and that will be r3 minus r2 simply fine so let's apply this operation and look what we will get so you will have 3 minus 1 4 2 and then 0 no change in r1 no change in r2 because there is no operation applied fine but we will change the values of r3 why because the operation is performed on r3 which is r3 minus r2 so 0 minus 0 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 
2 while on the right hand side you will have 0 again now we can see this matrix has been converted into an upper triangular matrix so we are done with applying the Gauss elimination the next step is to perform the back substitution if you remember that these were the coefficients of C1 C2 C3 and C4 fine so we will now build or reconstruct the equations and we will start from the bottom so we will have 2 times of C4 is equal to 0 this implies C4 must be equal to 0 because 2 is some non zero number so it must be multiplied with the 0 in order to get the 0 in order to satisfy this equation fine the next equation will be C2 plus 2 times of C3 plus C4 should be equal to 0 since C4 is 0 we will have C2 plus 2 times of C3 equal to 0 and from here we can write it as C2 is equal to minus 2 times of C3. If I choose C3 is equal to minus 1 because C3 is a free variable. It can take any value from the set of real numbers. Okay. So I have selected minus 1. Why? Because I want to eliminate this minus from here. So C2 will be equal to minus 2 times of minus 1 which is equal to 2 fine then we will write the last equation from here which says 3 times of c1 minus 4 1 time or minus c2 plus 4 times of c3 should be equal to 0 so 3 times of c1 minus c2 which is equal to minus 2 in this case plus 4 times of c3 which is minus 1 as we selected and then on simplification you will get 3 minus 3 c1 minus 2 minus 4 is equal to 0 or 3 c1 is equal to 6 c1 will be equal to 6 divided by 3 which is equal to 2 and hence you can see that the values of the constants are c1 is equal to 2 c2 is equal to 2 again c3 is equal to minus 1 while c4 is equal to 0 so the only non zero constant here is actually zero constant is actually c4 only fine while rest of the constants are non zero it means going back to our linear combination equation if you remember from where we started c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3 and plus c4 v4 let's put the values of these constants in this linear combination equation okay so let's just do it now c1 is equal to 2 times of v1 then plus 2 times of v2 plus sorry minus v3 plus 0 times of v4 is equal to 0 or 2 times of v1 plus 2 times of v2 minus v3 is equal to 0 and from here v1 can be written as v1 is equal to v3 minus 2 times of v2 divided by 2 now what does it mean it means that the value of the v1 is actually depending on the values of v2 and v3 fine so this set of vector is actually linearly dependent If you have some question you can drop the query in the comment section thank you for watching